They tried to make me go to rehab. I said no, no, no. Guess I've been black, but when I come back, no, 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 no. See, I ain't got the time. And if my daddy thinks I'm fine, he try to make me go to rehab. I said no, no, no. I think I fucked that up. Mm. What's that other one? What's that other one? My favorite song by Amy Winehouse. Does the Vortex know? Does the Vortex know? Why would the Vortex know that shit? Uh, no, you should... Oh my god, you need an upright bass player though for that. I do! Uh, how does that song go? Just to show him how it feels, I walk past his desk and he. Oh god, this song is so fucking good. It is so good. Like, you guys know the song Amy, Amy, Amy? Well, I feel like I can relate to that personally. <laughs> but, uh, um, attract me. Wait. Do, 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 do. There you go. There you go. Attract me till it hurts to concentrate. Distract me, stops me doing work I hate. Just to show him how it feels, I work past his desk and he's one. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, Amy, I love you. Just to show him how it feels, I work past his desk and he's. One way. Da, 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 da. I'm so sorry, Amy. <laughs> Just to show him how it feels, I walk past his desk and heels. One leg resting on the chair. From the side, he pulls my hair. Amy, Amy, Amy. Although I've been here before. Amy, Amy, Amy. He's just too hard to ignore. Masculine, you spin a spell, yeah. I think you wear me well. Amy, Amy, Amy. Where's my moral parallel? It's a great song. You should listen to it. See, she talks about masculinity a lot. Like, she has this whole song off her album Frank. I think it's like the first track where she's just making fun of this dude for being such a pussy, you know? Like, she's saying, I need you to be the man. I need you to be the man. That's your responsibility. Now you're acting like me? Like, no, I need you to hold me when I cry. I don't need you to be the one crying. You know, like, she's, she's such a badass, man. You know, she lived her life pretty hard, but it's like she came out with two amazing albums where she was just totally herself, artist, actual artist, and it pains me, man. It pains me that these worthless musicians, if you can even call them that, don't overdose. It's just terrible. It just makes me so angry. Like, why can't Taylor Swift develop a horrible, horrible drug addiction? Why can't she succumb to her terrible habits? You know? It just makes me so mad. <laughs> You know, I got sober shortly after Amy Winehouse died, and uh, there's some tracks off of her, uh, they're like hidden tracks off of her album Frank that are just incredible. Like, they make me cry because they're just so good, like, they're just so heartfelt. She seemed like such a genuine person, and, and something I've noticed is that anybody that's genuine in the entertainment industry dies early, you know? <laughs> it's like they either die from suicide or they die from drug overdose, whatever the fuck they say. They, they really hate artists in the industry. That's why I'm not fucking with the industry. I don't want to have shit to do with all that. I don't know why people want to be famous. 
That's fucking lamest. If you ask me, I know you're not asking, but I'm gonna pretend you did, okay? Because that would make this, this channel way more interesting. <laughs> But, yeah, it's just ridiculous that people want that. Like, if you, if you want to do your art, you best not do it for some uh, comedy club or, you know, I just don't, I don't think that anybody's actually in favor of, you know, the spont spontaneity and the the craft, you know, they're, they're not into that. They just want somebody they can control. And, you know, Amy Gross is not one of those people. You know, Amy Gross is a lot like Donald Trump in that way. So, um, <laughs> I do love this president so very much. I love him for the things seen and the things unseen, okay? <laughs> He's just amazing. But especially for his tweets, okay? Like, that's the best part of my week, is reading Trump tweets. Like, it literally is, like, just fun. It's, it's a fun little adventure that we have. And um, it's crazy that people don't know what Twitter's for. I mean, they don't know what anything's for. But nothing really surprises me, you know, with, with people and uh, their inability to accept reality, their susceptibility to accepting a bunch of terrible, terrible things that nobody in their right mind should accept. But we as a society, we've grown so accustomed to just accepting these things that are terrible, and we've grown immune to the fact that, like, I totally lost my train of thought. Immunity. What do you have immunity towards? The truth. That's about right. You're right. <laughs> Sorry, I saw this guy. I think he's walking his dog. That's okay. Guys can do that. Guys can walk their dogs if they so desire, you know? Gals can walk their dogs too. There's somebody out there that's got a pit bull. It's a really cute pit bull. Very, very friendly. Pit bulls are amazing. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I would love to meet somebody that loves the animals as much as I do. Like, I just want to farm, man. I want to farm. I want to just like be off the grid, like completely off the grid. I hate the grid, you know? Fuck the grid, right? <laughs> Fuck the grid! <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, so we've been out here just sitting on this tree bark. Bark, tree bark. <laughs> I laugh at everything. Don't don't think that's weird. I don't think that's weird. I'm just used to it. And and the more that I accept myself, like the less I give a fuck what people think about it. You know, if people have a problem with me, they're like, "Well, she's weird. Why is she laughing at herself? Why is she? Why she can't stop rocking back and forth and talking to herself?" Because that's just what I do, man. You know? Why is that even a problem? Why do you give a fuck? Like, oh, I don't comply. I don't act like you. Why do, Why should I act like you? You're, you're garbage. You're such garbage. Everything you think and do and say and want and desire is garbage. <laughs> such a bitch. I am. I am a bitch. But I'm a bitch for the right reason. Garbage is a good reason to be a bitch. Like I said before, I'm trying to be a fisher of women. Any man that knows what's good for him isn't gonna listen to a woman, okay? <laughs> I 
No, I'm friends with a lot of guys, though, because I act like a lesbian. People think I'm a lesbian. People think that I'm um, one of those one of those freaks. Um, I, I have I have problems that I deal with in my own way that are a lot better than ways that they tell you to deal with those problems. Are they still problems? Some days. It really just depends on the day. Like, a lot of the time I can make something out of it. Like, I can turn it into a joke. I can turn it into a song. I can turn it into a video. You know, you guys have seen it. You guys have seen me spill all kinds of shit all over my house. All kinds of shit all over my car. You've seen it happen. You've seen it happen. Are you guys familiar with the yogurt situation? Are you familiar with the Coca-Cola situation? Are you familiar with the milk situation? Well, if you're not, then I highly suggest that you go back and you look through my previous videos where I've spilled all these items either all over my car, all over my counter, all over my floor, okay? Now, I've turned that into a video where I just want people to see that, like, yeah, this kind of shit happens. You don't need to whine about it. You don't need to complain. You don't need to play the victim about it. Just because bad shit happens and just because, like, you have something that you experience that's inconvenient or unfortunate, that doesn't mean that that gives you the wherewithal to just be a fucking dick for the rest of your life about, oh, I didn't get this, I didn't get that. It's like these people just, it's so unfortunate that they'll never develop the self-awareness that it takes to kill themselves. And don't tell me, well, you shouldn't suggest that. I'm not suggesting that. I'm suggesting they think about it a little bit more. Suicidal thoughts make you strong. Trust me, I should know. I have a really terrible toothpick habit. I know I've mentioned this before, but... See, I figured that out. I figured out toothpicks. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm smoking. That makes more sense than vaping, you know? That makes more sense than nicotine gum. That makes more sense than nicotine patch. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm smoking. And people just find it amusing anyway. But if I could help people quit doing something that's bad for them by just being creative, man. This is why it stuck. It's because it was creative and because I created this method of escape. Now, do I miss smoking? Of course I do. Obviously. Obviously I miss smoking. I would smoke three, four, five, six, seven packs a day if I could. I fucking love cigarettes. I never stop loving cigarettes. And like I said before, I'll say it again. The fact that people want to vilify something all because they don't know how to use it. It's not cigarettes' fault that you can't stop smoking them. Cigarettes are awesome, you know? Vaping has always been stupid. I mean, I, I don't have any sympathy for people that vape. <laughs> you know, I got into an argument with this friend of mine. This, I guess he's more of a colleague or whatever, um, acquaintance. This person I did comedy with, he's like, you know, I'm just trying to quit. I'm trying, you know, I thought that was a good thing. It's not a good thing because you're just replacing it. You're just replacing, I gave him shit. Well, yeah, of course I'm going to give you shit because you're being a fucking victim playing, approval seeking, attention getting loser. Because you want to act like, oh, you're, you're so amazing because you quit. But you didn't quit. You didn't quit smoking. You replaced it. You quit smoking, so you're vaping. It just doesn't make logical sense. Now you're going to be addicted to vaping. It's the same thing that I tell people with the 12-step program. You're going to addic get addicted to the 12-step program. And you're going to think, oh my God, oh my God, if I'm not sitting in a church basement drinking a shitty cup of coffee out of a styrofoam, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to stay sober. Oh my God. Group think. They want you to go along with this shit. And if you don't go along with this shit, you're gonna do the stuff that they say you're gonna do. If you don't go to a meeting every single day, oh my God. <laughs> you know, it's like, I just called their bluff and I was like, I'm going to a fucking bar, I'll see y'all later. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna go to a bar and I'm not gonna drink. And I go to bars all the time. Well, not all the time, but I go to bars to do stand-up. They don't do stand-up in coffee shops. They don't do stand-up in uh, bowling alleys. They don't do stand-up at 
the dog park. You know, they do stand up. <laughs> they do stand up in, in shitty dive bars. That's where they do it. Now I can go anywhere, I can do anything as long as I got God. If I take God with me, specifically Jesus Christ, we can do it all. We can do it all. The fact that people want to say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, that person's a piece of garbage. Don't listen to anything they say. They don't really believe in God anyway. They don't trust in God. You have to trust in God more than you trust in anything else. Do not trust in the things that people tell you in a fucking 12-step program, okay? People in 12-step programs are so messed up in the head. They think that they have to continue to be in a cult in order to continue to do something that's positive. That being said, if you need help for a text, I can help you. But I'm not going to sponsor you the way that a lot of sponsors have sponsored me because they've been wrong. You know, I can't tell you how many, how many people have emotionally manipulated me in a 12-step program, specifically women. There's a reason why we don't trust women, okay? First of all, women can't be trusted, okay? They have a vagina that makes them so emotional that they can't see the truth from the false. I hate to say it, but it's true. Now, women that are aware of this, they always agree with me. And they always say, you're so right about women. Thank you, honey, thank you. Please say stuff every once in a while that's like the stuff that I say, and then you can get that, you can get that mistreatment from everybody, including men. They want to put their ball sack in a mason jar. Kind of reminds me of some shit that, that Ani DeFranco said a long time ago. Now, Ani DeFranco's a feminist, and I don't agree with a lot of stuff that she says, you know, but it's okay, because I agree with her being an artist. Some chick says, thank you for saying all the things I never do. I say, the thanks I get is to take all the shit for you. It's nice that you listen. It'd be nicer if you join in. As long as you play their game, girl, you're never going to win. That's why I'm a fan of hers, because she's, she's a pretty amazing songwriter, not to mention poet. I mean, I feel like she's more of a poet than she's a songwriter. But a lot of people would be surprised, especially people on the right. They'd be surprised that I listen to Ani DeFranco. But uh, I've seen her in concert. She's amazing. I have a bunch of her albums. She's really inspired me more than anybody else, aside from maybe Fiona Apple. I'm sure you can probably tell that I like her. And also, you know, that's the name of my car. So, yeah, we, we definitely like Fiona Apple. Before there was Jesus Christ for Amy Gross, there was Fiona Apple, okay? Um, but uh, Fiona Apple can't get me to heaven, though. Fiona Apple just kept me from killing myself in seventh grade. Because, you know, when you're a really emotional person and, and nobody knows how to deal with you, and then people that tell you that they're trying to help you, they, they give you uh, pills that just make you want to commit suicide even more than you already did. Um, when, when that happens, you, you turn to things like music. Um, and that's another reason why they want to kill art. They don't want people to be inspired. They don't want people to relate to anything. They want people to buy sunglasses and do drugs and um, and once again, it's like they, they want they want to sell you stuff, the drugs and the alcohol. They want to tell you how to do that stuff. Now I'm all for self-medicating, but that's only if you know yourself. Most of these cats don't know anything about themselves, let alone the drugs that they're doing. Especially the prescription drugs. Every person I know that's, that's uh, got a prescription or something, they sell that shit. <laughs> it's like, why wouldn't you? Why are you putting somebody in, into jail because they sell something off the street? You could get it. You could get it at a doctor's office. They don't think anything of it. I mean, it's, it's so easy to get pills. It's so easy. <laughs> it's ridiculous that people, it's like they want to point the finger, but they don't know like who to point at. They're pointing at all the wrong people. They need, first of all, they need to point that finger right back at themselves. If they point it right back at themselves, they'd, they'd stop doing a lot of shit that they're doing that goes along with the very thing that they say they're against. 
So if you, if you think the big pharma takes advantage of people, why are you taking the pills that they prescribe you? That doesn't make logical sense. You need to do something about it. If you're going to complain about it, you need to do something about it in your own personal life. Make a decision. Nobody knows how to do that because everybody's a fucking woman now. Everybody's emasculated. Nobody knows how to make a decision. They want to say they're pro-choice. I'll believe it when I see it. It seems like the only choice that you make every day is, is to play the victim. And then blame everybody else for the fact that you do that and you can't help yourself, can you? I'm a bitch, you guys. Like, I know. I know I am. But... I do want women to be better. I want them to do better. I want them to live better. They're not going to be able to do this with like all this crap that they're being sold by the Democrat Party, all this crap that they're being uh, sold by all these, all these celebrities and uh, role models, right? Role models. It's like maybe don't let your kids listen to that shit that they're trying to sell you. Do whatever you possibly can. You know, I tell all my friends with kids, I'm like, take them out of that school, man. Take them out of public school. Take them out of public school so they don't become indoctrinated. They're trying to make that less and less of a possibility. They're using the teachers' unions to do that shit. Fuck teachers, man. Fuck teachers. Anyway, I don't have kids, man. Like, if I had kids, don't worry, I'd stop swearing. I would. I would come up with new swear words that wouldn't be swear words, but they would be, like, my own creative take of, you know, censorship or whatever. You know, I don't, I don't mind this stuff as much because it forces me to be creative. People that, that don't want to be creative, all they want to do is complain. They want to complain about how things aren't going their way. They want to complain about all the stuff they can't say. Well, find a better way to say what you want to say. Find another way to say it. Look at it like a challenge. Not like, oh, I can't do this, you know? Stop complaining. Do something. Please do something. Do something interesting. Do something different. I'm so bored with this stupid culture. I'm so bored. I'm sitting on a fucking tree. You guys, I'm sitting on a tree. It's like seven o'clock in the morning and I'm fucking ranting because I'm so bored with everything in society. Like, look. I told you, I told you, it's true. It's true, this is what I've been sitting on. This is what I've been sitting on this whole fucking time. You have any idea how uncomfortable my ass is right now? I just want you to know the sacrifices that I make that nobody else is willing to make. They wanna, They just want to complain. That's all these people want to do. Now, we can complain, but I mean, <laughs> obviously. But it's like, dude, I mean, we're, we're trying to make the most of it, you know? Like Carlin, that's all he did was complain. But it was creative and it was right. He was right about everything. He complained about the right stuff. All these people complaining, not only are they complaining about the wrong stuff, but they're doing it in the, the stupidest way. They're doing it in the lamest way. Nobody has any balls because society's been emasculated. People have told me I have balls. Men tell me that. Trannies tell me that. Women tell me they're jealous of me. They wish I, they could say the things that I say. I mean, I just don't understand why, why it's like you're just saying stuff. Like, what does it matter? Like, if people get offended, they get offended. That's their choice. That's their decision to get offended. That's their decision to get, get mad because you, you had the audacity to say something that was, oh, was that risque? Why? If you're just saying words out of your mouth. 
words are escaping your mouth and people are like, oh my God. And you have all, all this horrible shit going on over here, all this horrible shit going on over there, and people are whining about tweets. Fuck this culture.